Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back of this Teardown Lab. I have a mystery parcel here and I have no idea what it is at all. But it says Photo Equipment 2X1. Um, hmm. Quite heavy. It says it's worth 8 US dollars and weighs 0 0.134, 134 grams. As I said, no idea. It might be something interesting, it might be something crap. It could be a one second video or it could be oh, an hour long. Right, so far, it's two of whatever it is. I get that, it's definitely two. Slens, slon, slins, slins, no idea. I, I, I kid you not, I really do not recall ordering this and have no idea what this is. So it's, uh, it's a mystery. It's something. Ah, oh, ha, 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 ahoy, 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 Yes, I do remember this. Um, and they were probably about $8. These were a couple of quid each. Groovy. And these, <laughs> yes, brilliant. These are actual camera remote controls. So if you have a camera that takes a remote shutter, and actually a lot do, and let me uh, have a look around for one. One second. All right, it's covered in so many wires. Bear with me, I do have one. Oh, heavy old brute. There we go. So this is a camera and I'll just uh, chunk it down there. It's basically got a remote shutter thing here. And what that does is let you just literally plug in a wire and just do it remotely. And these things are really cheap. They work for most cameras. Most cameras will have them. And even some cameras that you might not think have them do. So just make sure, because sometimes they'll like du duplex them on the USB port or some other you know auxiliary port. So you've got two modes. Basically, you quite might hear that. Hang on. You might hear it's two clicks. So just like your camera, it's got a two-stage focus. So the first click is to focus. And the second one is to actually take the picture. Now, I'm not sure why, but if you've got manual exposure, you can actually focus it, or if it's manu auto manually focused, you don't have to worry about that, but push it down and then slide forward and you see it sort of goes red here, it shows you it's locked in and that'll just keep the shutter open. And then you can watch your, you know, watch and say, okay, the solar eclipse is over or something. And then that's about right. And then you'll have an extra long exposure. So I'm gonna have a quick, oh, I can't really show, actually I can kind of show you a bit that it's working because, see, push the button. And then when I do the second push, you can see the light kind of go off or flash or whatever. That's it, that works. There's nothing to really see beyond that. But let's have a look inside because last time I opened up one of these and I sort of did use it for a different sort of project. Um, I do sometimes sort of connect these to sort of automation and microcontrollers. So if you want to, you know, microcontrol your camera, for example, you could either wire, wire it directly into the logic on your circuit board, or you can use like a relay in between. And it's crazy easy just to reuse one of these because as I said, they're only like a couple of quid and you get the connector all pre-fitted and everything nicely. Let's just check here. There might be another screw and there is, yep. Um, so that was worth the wait. Obviously they took long enough that I totally forgot I ordered them and I must have ordered them over a month ago. It really, you know, I've not been too bothered about not getting one of these any particular time frame. But that's how it works. Look, right there. So the first press closes the first leaf. The second press then shuts it, all of them against that uh, third leaf. And if you look here, they're all they're all sort of connected via resistors, and it's just like a potential divider circuit. So the camera is looking at these uh, wires and just measuring the various resistance between them. Because you can see the pin here, it's actually the, the, the jack connector has four pins, or four, oh, whatever you want to call these. <laughs> it's four connections, basically, four signals. Um, but only two are actually used. And that's how they get, get by it. So we could, let's have a go. I mean, I'm gonna to try to do a sort of big Clive and I'll be doing it very badly because he knows about things. Let's just try to work it out. So we've got the two wires from the camera. So we have your first wire and let's see what it's doing. We know we're gonna follow this, this white wire here. So the white wire is going to a resistor, which is going to a resistor, which is going to a third and final resistor. And after the first resistor is a switch contact. After the second resistor, another switch contact. And the third resistor, the third switch contact. 
So there you go. And then the yellow wire is connected to here. So that's your, your circuit. So basically, if this is 1R, if, if they, I'm going to say 1R. These are their values of 1R. Let's see what you've got then. So when it's open circuit, yeah, you'll be seeing 3R. So the camera is expecting open. So nothing's being pressed. It'll have a, a 3R. Yeah, so it'll be a very high resistance. So then when you push this one down, you're basically short circuiting this resistor. So first stage is 2R. And then when you push the put it right down to the third bit, so you've pushed this right through. I want to take the picture, click. You're going to take these ones out. So second stage, it, you're going to remove um, these two out of the circuit. So you're only going to have uh, 1R, I guess. So there, so basically the circuit goes <laughs> and avoids these two. So that's quite interesting. So this is obviously a resistivity that's high enough that the camera can't uh, see it. Um, and yeah, let's just let's just go the whole hog, you know? Let's, I'm gonna educate myself. I'm not gonna pretend I'm educating you because you're often more educated than I am in these subjects, but uh, this is on a resistance type range. So I'm going to hold that now against the white lead and the yellow lead. So there you go. So it's 37 kilo ohms. Then the first bit gives it brings it down to five. And then the second stage is down to two. So there you go. You start at 37, 5.4, 2.1. That's it. That's how it works. So basically, obviously, anything above, say, 30K or maybe 10K for all that matter, the camera can't see invisible to it so that's quite interesting from a sort of you know you can actually then replicate this in electronics if you want really so if you want to mess around with relays you could use relays to basically do this switching but you, you could also just do it electronically so that's that guys hopefully that's been of some use to you and some education Please feel free to comment down below on your experiences of these or whether or not I'm talking crap that's fine by me Please like, click subscribe and share if you're that way inclined. And as ever, thank you, you lovely people. Mwah.